you may be able to lose a guy in 10 days, based on the 2003 rom-com movie How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. That also may be time that it takes for you to lose enough of the COVID-19 coronavirus so that you are no longer contagious, based on updated guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The CDC is now saying that if you have mild to moderate COVID-19, keep yourself isolated from other people for at least 10 days after you first noticed symptoms. You can discontinue this isolation after the 10-day mark if you haven't had a fever for at least 24 hours and your other symptoms have improved. Note that not having a fever because you took a fever-reducing medication like Tylenol doesn't count. That would be cheating. The fever has to have naturally disappeared. Still having a fever after 10 days means that you may need not only more cowbell but also more isolation. This is a bit different from what the CDC was saying back in April, which was about three missed haircuts ago. As I wrote for Forbes at the time, the threshold back then was seven days rather than 10 days for discontinuing isolation. Also, the previous threshold for being fever-free was 72 hours instead of 24 hours. So in the words of Guns N' Roses, you'll need to have a little more patience. Wait three days longer for a total of 10 days before exposing yourself to others. Actually, that came out wrong. Wait three days longer for a total of 10 days after symptom onset before being in the same room with others. Keep in mind that isolation is not the same as social distancing. You should still social distance after ending isolation. As I've indicated previously, social distancing means staying at least one Ryan Gosling away from everyone else. As actor Gosling is approximately 6 feet tall, this would be keeping at least one lying Gosling apart. Thanks for your time, I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.